Right now, Republican Governor-elect Joe Lombardo gets to relax and celebrate his victory over Steve Sisolak. At the same time, Senator Catherine Cortez Masto is gaining on her Republican opponent, Adam Laxalt, showing statewide voters split their ballots instead of voting straight ticket. On election night, we don't know anything yet. It was anyone's race for governor, but now it's decided. Sheriff Joe Lombardo hands Steve Sisolak a clear defeat, flipping the position to Republican control. I think it hurts Sisolak, frankly, to be the governor during COVID. UNLV historian Michael Green says Lombardo's path to victory ran through the middle ground, appealing to independents who'd been alienated by Democratic leadership. Lombardo comes across more as Republican, but not necessarily too far to the right, and he is probably going to rely very heavily on his political advisors uh, as he gets the lay of the land. As Lombardo soared to a clear victory, another Republican running for a statewide office, Adam Laxalt, has steadily lost his lead to Democratic challenger Catherine Cortez Masto. Two different trends in one election, indicating many voters split their votes on the ballot. Voting is so individual. I think we make a mistake when we try to say, oh, it's this. There is the one big thing. Green says Lombardo had an advantage in dim, heavy Clark County over Laxalt by living there. And Laxalt may have driven independent voters to Cortez Masto with his 2020 claims of election fraud and close ties to Donald Trump. Frankly, the fact that Adam Laxalt was more closely tied to Donald Trump than Joe Lombardo was, that may have hurt Laxalt. Now, we will see with results in the coming days if that split ballot results in Laxalt's defeat or if he squeaks out a victory. As for Lombardo, in a statement, he said that he's dedicated his life to protecting and serving the community, and he's honored to have the opportunity to serve as governor. His first public address as governor-elect will be Monday at Rancho High School. In the studio, I'm Sean Delancey.